People sometimes ask me, David, how do you rebuild trust once you've broken it? Anybody made a mistake or lost or had to rebuild trust? Yeah, I'm a few liars, okay. So, for those of us that ever have, yes, we have a 15-step process if you're VP, VP or VW, but basically, whether you're a big company or you're a person, it all comes down to one thing. There's only one way at the end of the day to rebuild trust, and it is not the apology. The CEO came over to America from the Netherlands. He'd been here a couple months. I asked him, what do you notice different in America? He said, want to know the truth, David? I said, yeah. In America, you got a bunch of lying apologizers. They all say they're sorry, and they don't mean it. Don't you hear this all the time? I'm sorry I'm late. No, you're not. You're late every time. I'm sorry to get that done. No, you never get that done. We don't trust the apology. It doesn't mean you don't need to start with a sincere apology, but the only way to rebuild trust is to make and keep a commitment. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to trustedge.com for more free resources and tools.